The Boys and Girls Clubs of America, lessons in life and in sports occur daily. Right through there. Even from baseball Hall of Famers who were former club kids. Mr. Robinson, can I be a Hall of Famer? Hall of Famers are not born, they are made. With hard work and dedication, anything is possible. It's important to always dream big. Right here at the Boys and Girls Clubs, great futures start here. Ladies and gentlemen, Major League Baseball is dedicating tonight's World Series game to its official youth charity, Boys and Girls Clubs of America. For more than 100 years, Boys and Girls Clubs have enabled young people, most in need, to achieve great futures as productive, caring, responsible citizens. Today, more than 4,000 clubs serve nearly 4 million young people throughout the United States and serve military families in youth centers on U.S. military installations around the world. Since 1991, Boys and Girls Clubs have provided services to children of military personnel as they face the challenges of frequent relocation and the deployment of their parents. Currently, clubs serve almost 500,000 youth on nearly 400 U.S. military installations worldwide. Joining us today to deliver the game ball is the Boys and Girls Club's first ever Military Youth of the Year. Please welcome Rashawn Allen from the Devers Youth Center in Fort Knox, Kentucky. Accompanying Rashawn is an alumnus who went on to become one of the greatest players in the history of the game. When he retired, his 586 home runs ranked fourth all time. He was a Rookie of the Year. He was a National League MVP. He was an American League MVP, and he's still the only player ever to win that award in both leagues. He won the Triple Crown in 1966, and he blazed a path for others when he became the first African-American manager in both the American and National Leagues. Won't you please welcome the legendary Hall of Famer, number 20, Frank Robinson. Thank you, Frank and Rashawn. Major League Baseball and Boys and Girls Clubs, great futures start here.